Hi, I'm Jeff Halvey, and I have a proposal for you. See this ring? It means a wedding's on the way, and that usually spells fitness panic. But why not make a commitment to the man and the workout with Bridal Bootcamp today on Workout From Within. We're putting the fun back in fitness, not to your chest, but more to your hip area. There you go. That's it, let's go, come on. You gotta live it. We're talking bridal boot camps today. And what bride doesn't want to look great on that special day? Brides constantly flock to my gym with the same list of demands. They want good arms, toned collarbone, and a buff backside. Joining me is bride-to-be Kanika. And from what I understand, Kanika, you have a very interesting wedding coming up. That's right, Jeff. Um, I'm going to be having a traditional Indian wedding, since both my fiance and I are Indian, and we wanted to stay true to our rich traditions and customs. So he's going to be coming in on a white horse wow. with a whole processional of his friends and family and drums and a DJ. Like, it'll just be insane. <laughs> and, um, and I'm going to be coming in on what's called a dolly. So um, four of my cousins are going to be carrying me on this um, chair kind of thing that's mount mounted on two sticks. Um, so I enter in that way. And they carry, they literally carry. Yeah. That's a great way to get to work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it beats a subway. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to be carried in. So I obviously want to take it easy on your cousins. Yes. Not that you're yeah. not in great shape already. But you also mentioned that... Um, you wanted to get a little more toned up for the type of dress that you're wearing because it's a little different than a traditional? Yes, um, so an Indian um, traditional bridal gown is called a langa, and um, typically they're like red, pink, or gold. They have a lot of embellishments and embroidery, and um, mine's gonna have an open midriff. Okay, and pressure's so on. Yeah, I definitely <laughs> wanna tone my midriff, and um, it'll be a fitted skirt, a fitted long skirt. So you're gonna so see your thighs want, and butt, yeah, got I you. All right, toned. I'm following. Yep. <laughs> and also, the upper body. The yeah. yeah, the blouse is going to expose my collarbone and shoulders. Um, it'll be long sleeves and kind of. Now, open. isn't that interesting that no matter what culture you're from, all brides want the same thing? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> great. The good news is I have solutions for each one of those areas. Great. Now, the important thing to note is there's no such thing as spot reduction. So you can't exercise a particular area and hope that fat disappears in that area. It just right. doesn't work. Fat loss is a result of both diet and exercise. But what we can do is show you exercises so that as you do lose a little bit of fat, you reveal the beautiful, beautiful muscle and tone that you have underneath. Okay, awesome. sound good? Yeah, All sounds right. great. Exercise number one is going to be a chest press that you do with dumbbells right at home. You're going to take the dumbbells, sit in a chair. So far, this doesn't even seem like exercise, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> Lean back, and we're going to do an incline chest press. Now, the, the nice thing about doing this on a chair with arms is you have, it's almost like having a trainer there, someone spotting me already, right? Yeah, Okay. that's really so cool. So right from here, we're just going to press up directly over the chest, lower our arms back down. Press up over the chest, lower the arms back down. When we're done, put the weights down, and we're out. Okay. Sound good? <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's give it a try. All right. Why don't you go ahead and have a seat? We'll start with these on, on the side, just as you might set it up at home. Mm -hmm. Okay. And from there, remember, we're going to lean back because we're trying to target just a little more of the upper chest area. Okay. Okay. So go ahead and bring them to position. And we get, remember, we get a spot. I don't even need to spot you. Oh, yeah, there right you, here. You're so tense. <laughs> we didn't even start working out yet. Okay. So from right there, you let your elbows relax. And remember, you're just going to press up straight to the ceiling. Go ahead. There you go. So not so much in front of you, but a direct line straight up to here. All right. There you go. Good. And bring the elbows back down. Now, it's important that you don't let the elbows flare out up to 90 degrees where you have them now. You want them a little closer to 45, exactly, at okay. the armpit. Okay. That's it, all the way back down to your resting spot so that you know you have that safety net there. Mm -hmm. Let's just try one more rep. Good, and one more since you did such a good job. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, one more since you did <laughs> such a good job. We could do this all day long. Yeah. All right, let me help you with this one. You can set the other one down okay, for a moment. Sure. Excellent job. Now the next one is going to be an exercise for your lower body. We're gonna use these dumbbells again. And this time, we're going to do a double whammy. Right. We're not just going to get the lower body involved. We're going to keep working the upper body. Okay. Sound good? Mm -hmm. All right. It's going to be a squat with the dumbbells held in almost in a fixed curl position. So imagine if you were doing a curl, mm -hmm. you're going to hold them right at the top of the curl. Yep. From there, you're going to set the feet about hip width apart, toes slightly out. You're just going to go down into a squat. 
Now, the reason that I favor doing a squat is because You know, when women say that they want to lift their butt, what they don't know is they actually want to add to their bottom. Oh, okay. Okay? So the way that it lifts is by adding muscle. Most women are afraid of this, yeah. right? <laughs> you might even fall into that category. Yeah. But it's very important because that's where the, the glutes get their shape from, from actually adding some muscle. And we need to load up. So just using your body weight won't be enough. We've got 20 pounds to start cumulatively. We have two 10-pound dumbbells. Why don't right. you go ahead and get in position? Okay. Okay, so we're going to start from a curl position, okay, mm -hmm. right there. So fixed curl position, weights are nice and close. Separate your feet out just a bit more, toes pointed slightly out, slightly out. There you go. Mm -hmm. And you're just going to go ahead and descend down into a squat. There you go. Now, let's do a few more. Okay. And then I'm going to give you a little added challenge because you're doing so well. No good deed goes unpunished. <laughs> <laughs> no All right, pain, no now. Good. On the next one, I want you to descend, hold for five seconds, then come back up. Okay. All right, go ahead, descend. Five, four, three, two, one, up. Let's try another one. Back down. Five, four, three, two, one, up. Kind of tricky, huh? Yeah. Okay. Let's move into our last one. This one's really fun because you get to jump around like a little kid. All oh, right? Nice. <laughs> now, this one is for your midriff. And the nice part about this is that you not only get to work the muscles of the stomach, but you get a little cardio workout in too. What we're essentially going to be doing is hopping over the, uh, the ottoman, okay? Right. So hands are going to get positioned here, feet are here, and using our, by tightening up our abdominal muscles, we're gonna hop back and forth, just like that. Like I said before, this can be used not only for the midsection in terms of working the muscle, but also from a cardiovascular perspective. Right. Why don't you give it a try? Okay, I'm gonna tie my hair up. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm right here. Yeah. Okay, make sure you have the pressure down on the ottoman so that mm -hmm. it doesn't move around. You're just gonna flip back and forth. That's it, softer landings. <laughs> Good. Why don't we give it a rest there? <laughs> I think we'll call it. Now, you can see that that's a little more difficult than it looks. It's fun and it's playing, but it is pretty tough. Awesome job. Thanks. All right. Good work. You're going to stick around with us for a little bit. Up next, don't book a ticket to Honeymoon Heartache. Stay in shape on your newlywed vacation. Welcome back. Bridal Boot Camp is in session, and whether you're hiking Machu Picchu or surfing Southern California, you need to make sure that you're prepped for that activity because who wants an injury on the honeymoon? We're joined back by Kanika, our bride-to-be. And Kanika, you mentioned that you are going to Greece. Yes. We have a whole lot of activity planned. Yes, we're going to go to Mykonos and Santorini, and I'm basing the entire honeymoon off of my favorite play, Mamma Mia. So. <laughs> Very interesting. Sounds to me like there's going to be some swimming, some beach time, maybe some surfing. Yeah, sure. All right, very cool. Okay. And definitely some hiking and, and sightseeing. Yes. So let, let me show you a few exercises so that you can start preparing now. That way you have a good time on the honeymoon, no injuries. Okay. okay? Our first exercise is going to be right over here. So just turn around and right. um, you can come on over here. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to show you the first exercise we have. And this is going to be a row. Now, the reason we're going to do a row is because when you swim, the main muscle that we're using is right over here in the upper body, mm -hmm. okay? It's called the lat. And we're going to do a row using a cable off the bottom of the couch. Now, the simple version is doing this, all right? And then there's a more advanced one that I'm eventually going to show you. Why don't you go oh, ahead, cool. okay. grab the handles. You're up. I'm, this, <laughs> this is your workout, not mine. I okay. did mine already today, <laughs> all right? So what I'd like you to do, let me just get in position here so I can get a better feel for where you're situated, all right? Feet just about hip width. You can sit your sit into it just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And now I want you to pull not to your chest, but more to your hip area. So go ahead and pull back just like that, okay? okay? And let it go back, <laughs> pull it back in, good. Now, that might be a little bit of a challenge already, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna take it one step further because if you're surfing, you need some balance too. Yeah. So we're gonna do a little bit of balance work here. It's not gonna give you the same effect as practicing surfing itself, but it will start helping you with balance. So stand up just a little bit taller. Now here's the scary part. We're going one leg. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so gently take this leg off the ground. All right. And now what I'd like you to do is with the leg off the ground, go ahead and pull back. There you go. Much okay. tougher, <laughs> yes? All right, let's try that for a few more reps. 
Got that? Yep. Very good. Good. I'll grab these for a moment. I want you to stay right here because the next exercise is still going to be using these cables. Let me just grab our chair over here. <clears throat> Set this up. Now, when you swim, swimming is not just a, an upper body activity, yeah. but it's a lower body activity too. And you need strong glutes in order to swim well. Mm -hmm. We're going to do an exercise that will strengthen your glutes for you. The exercise is hip abduction, or I'm sorry, hip extension. I need to uh, get my exercise terminology cleaned up a little. <laughs> and we're going to lean forward on the chair and then just extend our legs straight back. And this is great for getting your glutes in shape, okay? okay? So what I'd like you to do is go ahead and step in. Hands All on right. the chair. All righty. Okay, I'm gonna set you up here. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. And I want you to go ahead and now extend back. Okay, so go ahead, lean forward just a little bit, and I want you to get your leg all the way back in the air. That's it, try to keep the leg nice and straight. We're coming all the way. Do you feel that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're going to bring it back. I wasn't uh, working out first. Uh, that's it. All the way back. Go, 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 go. All right. That's a tough one. You yeah. can go ahead and leave that on the ground for a moment. I'll help you out. Okay. All right. So obviously you can feel that working. That yeah. will get you ready for swimming. Now, okay. swimming, surfing, we kind of covered that stuff off. Mm -hmm. What about hiking? Yes. Okay. That's an important. There's a lot of climbing around uh, Mykonos, so yeah. Exactly. So <laughs> you've got two exercises that are going to be great. Mm -hmm. What I'd like you to do is just step back over here with me, okay? We're going to leave your left leg forward, and your right leg is going to go back onto the second step. So I'll give you a hand. All right. Go ahead. Okay. Now, we're going to stand straight up. And now you had your husband do something like this to you when he proposed <laughs> to you, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. You're going to propose to me now, all okay. right? You're going to propose fitness for the rest of your life, sure. all right? I want you to hold this standing up tall, straighten out the knee, okay? And now what I'd like you to do is dip down, all the way down, so that you end up in a lunge-ish position. Mm -hmm. And then go ahead and just extend the ball until it touches my hands. There we go. Oh, nice. Back down. Good. Now we get to work both the lower body and upper body. And not only that, we're getting a lot of core work, too. Okay, I'll yeah. take that now. Okay. All right, that's a great exercise, really, to get you ready for almost anything. But mm -hmm. that definitely, that definitely works. Um, the uh, last exercise we're going to do for the for the uh, mountain climbing is a mountain climber. Okay. okay? <laughs> have you ever done that before? Yes, I okay. have. Okay. So mountain climber, very simply, we're going to get in position like this, mm -hmm. and we're going back and forth. This is really just a general conditioning exercise. Mm -hmm. Why don't you try a few reps, sure. and then I've got a really good one coming up for you to round things out. Okay. Go ahead, let's get in position. Okay, and you're just gonna bring elbow all the way up to knee. That's it, I want you to do a little more explosively. Okay. All right, so that's something that you can even progress, and that's good, I'm not gonna crush you right now. Go <laughs> ahead and stand up. Okay. <laughs> I won't crush you right <laughs> now. But that's something that eventually you can progress so that you're doing a little more explosively. The last piece of advice that I wanna give you is what you need for a beach body. And that is very simply to just avoid the three Bs. What are the three Bs? Foods that come in a box, okay. foods that come in a bag, and foods that are bread or bread-like. These are usually the most processed foods, mm -hmm. and they will add pounds. So you want to stay away from them. We can't omit the diet component of the equation. Okay. All right? So no calamari. No, well, <laughs> if it's breaded, no. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> Coming up next, the perfect workout for newlyweds. No better way to kick bridal boot camp into high gear than with a little kickboxing. I'm back with Kanika, our bride to be, and I'm going to show you, Kanika, a few moves that you can do with your husband or maybe even use on him. Okay, <laughs> don't leave the toilet seat up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So, the first move that we're going to, first before we do any move whatsoever, actually, is you kind of did it, which threw me off a bit, but we're going to get into some good fighting stance, okay? Because okay? you weren't perfect. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> okay. So what I'd like you to do, and anybody can really do this to get in good fighting position, is just start with their hands at their side, feet about hip width apart, and just do this after I finish explaining the whole thing, is basically just take one step forward and raise your hands up at the same time. It's going to look like this. You'll get to go right after I do. That's all there is. All right? Okay. So go ahead. If you're a righty, you're going to step forward with your left foot. Go ahead. Perfect. Hands a little higher because you don't want to get punched in the face, okay? <laughs> okay? All right. Now, the first move I'm going to teach you is how to keep somebody away because more important than hitting someone is 
You don't want to get hit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'd like you to get into good fighting position. Okay. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be an attacker coming towards you. All right. What you are going to do is you're going to stop me with your front leg. You're almost going to use it like a jab. You're just going to pick it up and push me away. All right. Okay. I'm going to come towards you. You're going to pick it up. Keep away. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's try that a few more times. I'm coming in. Keep away. There we go. I'm coming in. Keep away. One more time. Stay away. Perfect. That's excellent. You're a quick learner. All right. All right. The next move we're going to do is now that we've kept the attacker away, it's time to punish him a little bit. Mm -hmm. All right. So <laughs> if you're doing this with your husband, please take it easy. No broken ribs. <laughs> okay. Because up next, we're kicking him in the ribs. Whoa. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. All right. <laughs> so the next move is going to be a roundhouse kick to the ribs. What it's going to look like is this. You're going to pick the leg up, stop me, put the leg down, and then do a kick into the ribs. One more time is you're going to stop me, come back, kick to the ribs. Okay? All right. So I'm going to come in to attack you again and a kick to the ribs. Excellent. Oh, Good. Okay. Make sure you keep a little bit of distance, though, in case someone's trying to throw punches back at you. All okay. right? We always want to train as if it's real. That's the most important thing about any kickboxing training. To make it effective is don't just do little air punches and this <laughs> and that. You want to do it as if you're actually training for something. It ups the level of intensity, and then it gives you practical skills you can actually use. OK? Yep. So I'm going to come in once again. You're going to stop me and kick me in the ribs. Whoa, -ho -ho. <laughs> that was a real kick. That actually hurt my arms a little awesome. bit. That, was, that is awesome. Thank you. I was expecting, I'm sorry, but <laughs> awesome works too. I like that. OK, so I'm going to come in. Boom. There we go. Excellent. I feel like you have those two down. And what we're doing is we're building up a combination. All trainers, I'm sorry, all fighters train in combinations. They don't learn to just throw one punch. They learn to throw one into the other, into a kick. It's putting these all together so when you're actually fighting, you don't have to think about it. Right. And what we're doing right now is we're pattern patterning a combination for you. Okay. okay. Now, you just kicked me in the ribs. <laughs> Next thing, now that you've broken my ribs, you're going to break my face a little bit, okay. all right? We're going to have two moves coming up next. The first one is just going to be a right cross. That means throwing with your back hand. So let's just try just that punch. So go ahead. That's it. One more time. That's pretty good. I have a feeling you've knocked out a few people before <laughs> this. <laughs> I try. The second move is going to be an elbow. Okay, the tie, this is, we're doing kickboxing. I have a Thai boxing background, mm -hmm. and the Thai elbows are brutal. They really are good for self-defense. And seriously, on, on a very serious note, this is something that could be life-saving in, in a dangerous situation. This is one you have to promise not to use on your husband. <laughs> no matter how much he bothers you, no matter how much he doesn't do the dishes or put the toilet seat down, okay? <laughs> no elbows. <laughs> so we're gonna just do the second half of that. I want you to throw the cross, and then for the elbow, you're gonna step across and I'm gonna go first. Okay. All right. I know you're advanced, but you're still gonna <laughs> let me go first. <laughs> yeah, sure. You're gonna step across and drive the elbow down, as, not into my face. I know I just kind of showed it to the face. We're gonna go to the pad instead. Okay. So it's gonna be across and then drive the elbow down as you step through. Exactly. That's perfect. And then you come right back to where you were. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. You think you got it? I think so. I hope so. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna get hit in the face. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. You ready? Yeah. I'm gonna come in. You stop me. Kick me in the ribs. You punch me in the face, and then we do a little action upstairs. <laughs> that <was weak. laughs> That's okay. We'll do it one more time. You're okay. learning, but that was great. I'm gonna go ahead. You're gonna stop me. That's it. You're gonna kick. Excellent. Cross. Bang. Good. Let's do it one more time. And then because you've done so well, I'm gonna teach you one more cool thing. Okay? Okay. So I'm gonna come in. You're gonna stop me. Ribs. Cross. Ah, knockout. All right? <laughs> that was excellent. Now. Everybody's always curious about the Thai boxing knees because they're very particular to Thai boxing and they can be really devastating. And the nice part about the knee is that you really work your abs when you do it. So I'm going to go gloves off, mm -hmm. which means that you're not punching me anymore. You're going to keep them on. All okay? Right. okay. And I'm going to show you how to throw a Thai boxing knee. And this is great to know because if someone ever does try to attack you, you can always use this. If I come in, what you're going to do is put your hands behind my head mm -hmm. and you're going to drill the knee up into my midsection, just like that, while you pull down. So go ahead, boom, that's it, that's okay. Go ahead, one more, excellent, okay. all right? Okay. I only taught you that because you did so well and you were so advanced. Thank you so much for joining me. I think that you did an amazing job and you'll certainly be a beautiful bride. Thank you, Jeff, thanks Which so much. Which of these exercises are you gonna do on your own? 
Um, definitely the Bulgarian. Those, 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 the ones off the yes. stairs. Okay, yeah, I, I'm I gonna do it in the my stairwell. Lunge. Yeah, <laughs> it was excellent. Coming up next, just because you're off the market doesn't mean you need to divorce yourself from fitness. How to stay fit for a lifetime. We've been busy with bridal boot camp, but after the big days come and gone, and you've taken that. walk down the aisle, don't let that be the end of your fitness and your new awesome body. One of the best tips that I have for new brides, new wives I should say, is to keep a picture of how they looked on their wedding day right on the fridge. It's a good reminder that just because you looked that great that day, it doesn't have to end. You can keep it going by staying in shape. And one of the best ways to stay in shape is with a partner. You now have one. You have somebody who's gonna keep you on track. And a couple that stays fit together is much more likely to stay on track. And the same is true for diet. If you both eat healthy and you don't bring any of the bad stuff into the house, you'll help keep each other on track. Before you walk down the aisle, put your best foot forward to look and feel great. And once you've made your vows to each other, make sure you keep up the commitment to look and feel great for the rest of your life. I'm Jeff Halvey. See you next time on Workout From Within.